going to say. The, the stimulus system, right, which is your whole system of balance, is going directly, the nerves are going directly to the cerebellum. Okay? Um, the eyes are also going to the midbrain, and they are interacting with our movement. Otherwise, the cerebellum I would be kind of not able to coordinate. Okay. So, um, uh, when we, we, what you're going to do is we're going to turn, okay? And what happens is we're just going to turn, and as we turn, we're going to come to, to a, back to center, so to speak. And what I want you to notice is that we've got, we're going to do it three times because you need to do it more than once, okay? Um, we'll turn it to the right and we'll stop. And what you're going to notice is just start to notice that there will be a sensation of something that as you turn to the right that goes to the left when you stop. So it's like the water's been going this way and it stops by directionally going in the other direction. But I also, the best you can do is to try, some people you may have to, you might feel a little dizzy and you'll want to fix your focus. Try not to fix the focus, but allow the eyes to gently stay forward. Just notice that the eyes are going to have an involuntary movement. It's not about turning the eyes through a voluntary use, okay? So we're going to do it to the right, and we're going to stand, and we're going to do it to the left, and we're going to stand. Maybe we'll do it twice. Twice, right? The teacher room wants you to get it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but I, as, be curious, okay? So it goes like this. I'll, I'll show you, okay? So I'm going to put my hand out, and I'm letting my hand be there, and very simply, and you'll do in your own timing, you'll have to have enough room, is that you're follow, you're just going, and you let your eyes stay on your hand. And you go as fast as you like, or as slow as you like, and then you're going to stop. Okay? And what you're going to notice is the sensate, there's a sensation of direction in the other, of opposite direction. And I want you to just notice that the eyes are moving. Okay? I'm going to do it twice. But what you're going to do is I want you to notice which side feels more fluid, right? <laughs> more, and which side feels more compressed. Okay? Okay, we'll go to the right. This might so at least the one right. So. Okay, so you're turning, watch your hand. As long as it takes, right? There, it ta it stays for quite a while. It stays for quite a while, and maybe you notice. And then we'll go the other way. So you're just going to notice which is more compressed and which is more um, fluid. is that the side that's more compressed gives you information about your skeletal alignment. That probably the side that felt more compressed, you might notice it's the side you lean on, or you have a tendency to get your, your ankle, that you, that you fall, you know, you've sprained your ankle on that side, or you have a weak hip. Something in your skeletal alignment. And what that's about is that the cerebellum is guiding that through the ears. And it's affecting the entire body through the relationship between cerebellum and proprioception. So sound is, for me, guiding, guiding that awareness. <laughs>